Auslogix have got two great programs. One is a registry cleaner and one is a registry defragmenter. Start with the registry cleaner, download the file and double click to run. Click next to install it. Accept the agreement, click next, follow through. Create a desktop, I desktop icon if you want and just let it install. It's pre-ticked to launch when you finish. Click finish and the program will launch. This is the user interface and it's preset on start a quick registry scan which is recommended which will suit most users. Uh, if you're an advanced user and you know a bit more about the registry you might want to use the advanced registry scan, click next and you can look at classes and ActiveX objects, shared DLLs, software and virtual devices. But we'll go back and we'll stick with the quick registry scan which will suit most of you. Click next and just allow it to scan. It's not intrusive, it's not invasive and it's not as destructive as some registry cleaners. And I've been using this since the first of the month when it was released. And it's a great little program. It hasn't interfered with any programs whereas some like CCleaner that have a built-in registry cleaner have stopped a couple of programs from working. Now what I like with this one is that it shows you what it is and you can view the detailed results and in this case an invalid shortcut which is another movie I've made to append to the end of this one and at the bottom if I go to history list a moment and this shows me that the defrag setup does not exist because it's on another drive and there's two temporary files but at the bottom of the pane it shows you the key, the value and the data. Now most registry cleaners only show you the key and doesn't tell you any more. And this is quite useful for deciding whether to keep it or delete it. And in this case I've only got four, I'm going to delete them. I click fix and that's it. It shows me that the computer performance before and the pe computer perf uh, performance gain. There's only four problems so it's no big deal. You know, it's very quick, it's very easy to use. You can expect it to take longer depending on how much clutter you've got. You can click on display report and this will open up in a browser window and this will show you the register keys process, the problems found, the problems fixed, what it failed to remove, the time it started finished, the total time, the performance before and the performance gain. It will also show you the history lists and shortcuts that have been removed. Now once it's finished you can come out of the browser window, we'll click back if you look at restore changes, if you do have any problems, open the program up, click on the restore changes button and you can restore the changes that were made to your registry. And you can click to view more details and this will give you the full detail of the changes that were made. Click OK and click restore. You get the option to restore it yes or no. And in this case I'll click yes and that's it restored. I'll close this window and again I'll do another quick scan and I'll just remove the four keys which will save me going in and doing it manually which it's a bit of a bonus but I like to have control over the registry it does become full of empty keys where you add and remove programs uh, you visit various sites you download bits and pieces and these are empty data keys that you don't need and just clear them out, it's taking up wasted space. Now what we'll do, we'll close this and the next thing you want to do is to download Auslogic's registry defrag. Your registry becomes defragmented just as your hard drive does over time and all you have to do is download the registry defragmented program, double click this to run it and again it's a very simple installation click next accept the agreement click next follow through when you get to the ask.com toolbar 
e uh, EULA, untick the box, you don't need the toolbar, click next, you can create a desktop icon, click next and allow the program to install. Again it's pre-ticked to launch when you exit the setup and this is the user interface. Now on your desktop you'll have this little shortcut just in case you need it. We'll click next and we'll allow it to analyze the registry hives to see if it can be optimized in any way. It's just defragmenting it and compacting it. Much the same as you do when you defrag your hard drive. And all the empty spaces get closed up again. So it's all nice and tight. And it doesn't take very long to run. It would depend upon how much information you have on your computer and it shows you the access before the access speed improvement. Click next and then click defrag. Now when you do this you have the option that it's scheduled for the next reboot. You can do this immediately by clicking yes and it will reboot and defrag your, com your registry. In this case I'll do it manually because I want to follow on to the next step. So what I will do now, I will reboot the computer and when that happens you get presented with another screen and as your computer boots up you get this sort of window saying that the registry is being defragmented and it will take a few minutes and it will go through all of the registry hives and defragment them and it doesn't take very long but it's worth the effort. Now once it's done your computer boots up and it will show you that it's reduced the size of your registry and improved the speed of the registry access. Again, you have the option to display a report, which again opens in a browser window. So we'll click on that. And as you can see, you get the report. It shows the hives processed, the start and finish time, the analysis total time, the registry size before and after and the improvement of the registry size and the performance improvement and it also shows you the hives that were defragmented. So it's an easy to use program here you can see that the before and after sizes you can compare and this is the only one really that's made any difference. The rest of them have stayed the same as they were before which in my case is minimal. But it's very impressive, it's a very good program, it's easy to use. And really that's all there is to it. Simply close the window and that's it. You, your registry has been cleaned and defragmented. If you want more information, check out my blog which is Free PC Security and you can find it at freepcsecurity.co.uk.